Netflix documentaries be like? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Gosling is George Floyd. <laughs> Damn, that's a shit score, man. Even 13% for critics. Will Smith on his way to slap Rotten Tomatoes review. <laughs> So the Cleopatra documentary turned out to be exactly what people thought it was going to be. A grandiose pile of bullshit. We didn't expect great things to come to a documentary that says, you know, forget everything that you learned in school. Cleopatra was black because I heard it so. <laughs> but one thing we cannot complain about is the memes that came out of this situation. So a lot of this internet foolery started with this guy, David Marcus. I see no good reason why an actor of any race can play any historical figure. It's acting. But the internet did not go easy on that. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg is Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Chris Pratt, Rosa Parks, I ain't find a move. <laughs> transparency on his face sells it man i would watch this movie to be honest you know what is making a point <laughs> ryan gosling again is a fan favorite the man is stood against the nation martin luther king oh man <laughs> ryan gosling is barack obama <laughs> <laughs> netflix presents the history the story of king john hoon man Dwayne the rock johnson is absolutely everywhere so this wouldn't surprise me if it actually happened Heather <laughs> Selma Zelensky. <laughs> oh man, come on. Come on, man, come on, what is this? <laughs> John <D. Kennedy. laughs> There's no way <laughs> the seven dwarfs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, come on! <laughs> Polar Bears, the documentary! <laughs> Even the goddamn fucking bears, man! <laughs> Timothy Chalamet is Michelle Obama! Come on, man! It paints the point, right? This is all stupid, man. No one would want this. And this is even a fictional thing. No one would like that. But a documentary, man. <laughs> that caught me by surprise. Come on, man. <laughs> Fucking Mulan. <laughs> right that way they put the goddamn dog. Man. <laughs> Kevin Hart. <laughs> I want to know the context of this picture, man. That's all I want to know. find the words to describe <laughs> oh Samuel Jackson I would watch anything that he makes quite honestly I would watch this I don't care and you thought that the reviews were already bad for Jada they also made the <laughs> rap on sale man come on man <laughs> she's gonna suffer with this one because this was not even like Velma at least people watched Velma because they hate watched it or something like that they found it funny there's nothing good about this. You can make a few memes and you move on. There's nothing that would warrant a second season. And apparently that's the idea. But as we saw, 14% and 2%. So you know how Rotten Tomatoes usually goes like, you know, the audience either loves it and the critics hate it or vice versa. This is just universal. Making critics and viewers agree on Rotten Tomatoes that your show fucking sucks is a whole new level of fucking sucking. <laughs> he has a point. <laughs> I posted this pic of Lizzo on Twitter, and a right winger asked me if it was Cleopatra a show on Netflix vlogged. <laughs> and they actually made it, man. They made the meme. Look at this. <laughs> the fucking score, one percent. <laughs> it increased to three and fifteen. <laughs> 
after the slap, man. That slap was that, that slap was powerful, man. Netflix release clean Cleopatra. People point out historical mistakes. Netflix, I don't care what they told you in school. <laughs> Thirteen and one percent. That is so bad, dude. Look at this. Every single episode got a one star. I didn't even think that was possible. Actually, it did. Good. Good. That makes me happy. <laughs> we just need a really funny video where Dwayne Johnson and Terry Crews compete for the role of Cleo <laughs> because they want to replace the actress. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I would watch that. I don't care. Oh man, what have we learned? Don't go woke unless you want to go broke. <laughs>